Hey guys, what I got here is the Streamlight Stylus Pro. It's the uh, 2011 model. As you can see, it's not much bigger than the Sharpie pen, than the Sharpie pen here. It's just a little bit thicker, but uh, pretty darn close to the same size, same length, and everything. A um, few things that they changed for this year is it went from 24 lumens to 48. Um, six hour, fifteen minute runtime, which isn't that bad. I'm, it comes with alkaline batteries, so I'm assuming that's the runtime for alkaline. You might get a little bit better run times with the uh, with lithium batteries. Um, on the back here, it shows like the runtime. As you can see, it kind of like tapers off. It starts off forty eight lumens, all the way down to six hours, like four point eight lumens. And uh, I'm assuming that's with like a sort of alkaline batteries. Hopefully, you get better run time out of the. Uh, Lithiums um, comes with an extra tail cap, the little rubber boot that goes on the end right here. I guess some people I see in the forums and the websites or whatever are complaining that some of these were ripping or whatever. So I guess they they now include an extra one in there, the tail cap. The uh, the end right here screws off. Um, I'll show you a picture uh, that shows this apart. And then another picture will show you this versus the old one. Uh, this one will be the, the new one will be on the bottom in the picture. Comes with this little uh, this little belt holder for the flashlight. In my opinion, it's worthless. I can barely get two fingers in it, and uh, a lot of the belts I use, or the belts that I use, are wider than my two fingers. So, I mean, as far as, like, using this on your belt, it's worthless. But even if it did fit on my belt, I don't use these anyhow. I don't really care for them. That's why I tied the lanyard on this. Because I like to hang it around my neck when I'm not using it for quick access. You know, when I'm up camping or whatever in the woods. The uh, main reason why I got this is to uh, carry my hydration pack for um for when I do my nighttime bike riding. You know, I commute back and forth to work every once in a while. You know, I get caught up in, you know, sometimes at night when I ride home, you know, it'll be kind of nice. You know, if I break down, get a flat tire or whatever, I can, uh, I have, have something to see. You know, some of the places I ride through are pretty darn dark, pitch dark. You can't even really see the sidewalk in front of your face when you're cruising down through there. Um, I tied the uh, Cobra knot on here. It's the same knot they use for the survival bracelets. Um, figured, you know, I like it a little bit thicker because, you know, it fits my hand a little bit better, a little bit easier to grip on. I might not drop it as easy to me, it feels like. Um, but, like I said, I think the old version was 24 lumens, this is 48. And when I was at Bass Pro Shops, they had the older version, the 24 lumen, and then this one here, I compared it side by side. I have like a little thing up here where you can push and light them up. And the 48 lumen definitely looked brighter in the package, anyhow. I haven't been able to compare them side by side out in the dark. Which, uh, as soon as it's dark out, I'll show you guys. You know, I'll do some tests and keep in mind that, you know, the camera doesn't pick up the light as well as our eyes do. So, I mean, I'll do my best to give you guys an idea of how it works. Um, overall, it's a pretty good little flashlight. It's got a pretty bright spill, you know. I'm happy with it. And, uh... I said it lights up, you know, immediately close, you know, 20, 30 yards, it works plenty good. So if that's all you're really, if that's all you're looking for, that's pretty good, you know, in my opinion. Um, I think I paid, I think this cost about $27 brand new. So, yeah, I'll be right back as soon as it's dark out, guys. Alright. Here's my house. It's only, it's only, uh, it's the garage there. It's probably only about five yards away, you know, so. Focus in here a little bit. So, I mean, it lights it lights up the immediate area pretty good. Uh, you can't really see the spill too well on this. Just mainly the hot spot there in the center. But uh, that's a pretty good spill, in my opinion, you know, for 48 lumen flashlight. Um, let's see. So you can see, kind of see the trees there. That's about 15, 20 yards. Then we got another tree back there, but it's not really showing up on the camera. You can kind of see the light a little bit. That's about 20, 25 yards. Got the bird bath. It's probably about 15. Got a chair right over there. It's probably about 20. There's a tree right behind it. Got a shed out there, but it's not showing up in the camera too well. 
And out back, probably uh, 60 yards exactly, actually, with some trees that it just barely lights up enough that I can tell it's trees. But it doesn't show up in the camera very well. But, oh man, almost tripped on that machete there. It's sticking up out of the ground. It's got the shit out of me. But, I mean, you're walking around, it, you know, it lights up pretty good. You kind of see that little white spot next to that tree. That chair is probably about, it's a chair laying on the ground there. It's probably, I want to say, at least 30 yards away. You see the dog's eyes kind of glowing. I don't know if it's showing up in the camera or not. Yeah, next to the tree there. Kind of see your eyes glowing. Neighbor's shed. About 15 yards. Come out here, go for a little walk. See how well it lights the house up. See if I can get further away. But I mean, but I mean, it's got a pretty good spill. It's got, you know, usable spill in my opinion. So that spill's not extremely bright, but it's definitely usable in my opinion. See, I'm about about 30 yards from those trees and you can't even really see them with the flashlight, but, or at least on the camera, I can see them with my eyes, but, dang, how's that shed I was showing you? You can see the house right there. That's uh, 35 yards, I want to say. Got here a little bit further. House seems to light up a lot better than the trees. There's a dog again. What are you doing, Lucy? Huh? What are you doing? He's out there running around. She's happy to be outside. She loves having company out in the backyard. Just absolutely loves it. Okay, I want to say I'm. Um, 50 yards from the house and just barely showing up in the camera but I mean I can see it real good with my eye if you feel like hiking through the woods in the dark like like I do sometimes you know coming in from hunting or going out hunting so, I mean it lights the immediate area up really good right in front of you because like sometimes you get those really bright flashlights and they're really overpowering for stuff like this in my opinion up close so this is where these like these lower powered flashlights come in handy. Just lights this, you know, just lights this media area up really well. Uh oh, dog sees something. Let's go see what she sees. Might be a skunk. We've been having a skunk problem around here lately. Seen something, I don't know what it was. Get the bright flashlight out. Get my surefire 200 lumens. That lights shit up real good there. Having skunk problems. Dog and the cat both got it. This cat uh loves hanging out with everybody. Having party, she's out with us. Dog's on to something. Dog seen or smelt something. Switch flashlights here so we can see what the dog's doing. What is it, Lulu? What did you see, girl? Huh? Let's go see. What is it? What did you see, girl? Huh? What do you see? You see what I mean about like these really bright flashlights, how bright the hot spot is? What is it? What did you see? I can't see what's back there. That stuff's way too thick. Could have been a raccoon running up the tree or something. I don't see nothing though. Alright, I'm going to switch back to the other flashlight. Anyhow, I got the house up there. Light up the bright flashlight. I mean, you just had no problem with this one. That's 60 yards. But, uh... See, you can't see it with the flashlight, but I can see the house from here. If somebody was standing up there, I could see them with this flashlight. It's only 48 lumens, so so I mean, it's it's a decent flashlight for you know 27, 28 dollars. That neighbor's junk over there reflecting. <laughs> 